Liturgy is a form or formulary according to which public religious worship, especially Christian worship, is conducted. Liturgy ties into all the sacraments by the form that it takes on its entirety. Liturgy is something we as Christians worship. The liturgy brings together communities of people into the church and makes that community into a family. Liturgy is present in every sort of sacrament, but more so in the form of the Eucharist because both sacraments take place in the gathering of the church. It is fitting that he whose abode has been established in peace should be worshipped in peace and with due reverence. Churches should be entered humbly and devoutly. Behavior and sight should be calm, pleasing to God, bringing peace to the beholders, a source not only of instruction but of mental refreshment. Those who assemble in church should extol with an act of special reverence that name which is above every name, that which no other under heaven has been given to people, and which believers must be saved, that name that is of Jesus Christ, who will save his people from their sins. Each should fulfill in himself that which is written for all, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow. Whenever that glorious name is recalled, especially during the sacred mysteries of the Mass, everyone should bow the knees of his heart, which he can do even by a bow of his head. This church is in his church's sacred solemnity to possess the whole heart and mind, the whole attention should be given to prayer. Dressing for Mass is simply a matter of showing proper respect, not only for God, but for others around you. It's certainly not a matter of showing off one's finery. Lots of people do even have fine clothes. Or don't. One should always wear clothes that are modest, and if possible, all things being equal, clean, and the nicest clothes one has. Shorts and sweats are not allowed. Blue jeans, nice blue jeans can be okay, especially if dressed up, but are not ideal. Typical for men, if you have ties and jackets, it is typical. Special to women, like men, women should wear their Sunday best, considered to be a dress or skirt. If dresses or skirts are worn, hemlines should cover the knees when, sta when standing or sitting. Shoulders should be covered. For example, tank top dresses and spaghetti shops are not kosher, and necklines should be locked. And then cell phones should always be off. Christ is present in the tabernacle, therefore respect the sanctuary as the holiest area of the church. It is the holy of holies. During the Mass, we are at the foot of the cross, witnessing the re-representation of the sac sacrifice at Calvary. Look upon the Mass with the eyes of faith, and know that all too common focus on the Mass only or primarily as a celebratory meal or a happy gathering is in no way Catholic and in no way represents the truth of what the Mass is. When you enter the church, cross yourself with holy water and thank God for the grace given to you at baptism. When you reach your pew, don't you to put the tabernacle on the sanctuary before sitting down. Keep sacred silence in the church. Avoid unnecessary conversation and keep necessary conversation to a very low whisper. When you receive the host, don't chew on it like it's a piece of steak. Let it soften in your mouth, then swallow. One does not respond, amen, or with any gesture upon the sign of the cross after receiving the host. After receiving communion, keep a custody of eyes, walk back to your seat with eyes in front of you, toward the floor. The most traditional posture after receiving communion is to walk with your hands in prayer position, palms together, fingers pointing upward, held at chest level. When you reach the pew, it is customary to kneel after communion. The mass is not truly over until the priest has left the altar. Don't sneak out of after communion. When it is time to leave, and you do exit your pew to leave the church, join your thoughts once again to the tabernacle. Some Catholics also again sign themselves with holy water, then leave the church. Do not grab or snatch the Eucharist from the priest. If Even if you think it's tasty, it is not appropriate to grab it. Receiving the Eucharist.
Eucharist, do not move wildly around the place, do not get too close to the priest, receive the Eucharist in a manner where you can hold it. Do not bow too close or too far away from the priest, and therefore just keep proper etiquette, like bowing, right when you receive, and saying Amen, and receiving with your tongue out. Thanks for watching!